The UK has just tested a powerful new weapon that can vaporize a drone swarm in an instant. The British military successfully destroyed over 100 drones during a simulated drone attack. British soldiers had successfully tracked, targeted, and defeated swarms of drones for the first time using a new directed energy weapon developed in the UK, the Ministry of Defense confirmed yesterday. This breakthrough system, called Rapid Destroyer, uses high-power radio waves to destroy the electronics inside enemy drones, causing them to crash instantly. What makes this weapon truly remarkable isn't just its effectiveness, it's the cost. Each shot costs between 10 to 13 pence, roughly 18 cents. Compare that to anti-air missiles that cost millions per unit. Maria Eagle, UK Minister for Defence Procurement, praised the system. This significant experiment exemplifies the strength of British innovation, adding more cutting-edge capabilities to keep the UK secure at home and strong abroad. The truck-mounted weapon can engage multiple targets simultaneously at ranges up to 0.6 miles. But how exactly does this technology work? Unlike jamming systems that temporarily disrupt signals, Rapid Destroyer physically damages drone electronics with microwave energy. This means even autonomous drones with no communication links can be neutralized. Sergeant Mayers, who tested the system, reported, We found the demonstrator quick to learn and easy to use. With improvements on range and power, this would be a great asset to layered air defense. The UK is looking to deploy this technology in real combat conditions, possibly in Ukraine, where drone warfare has become a defining feature of the conflict. Roman Kostenko, chair of Ukraine's Parliamentary Defense Committee, highlighted the urgency. Drones are responsible for up to 80% of combat casualties, either through direct attacks or surveillance. This development comes as the UK increases defense spending to 2.5% of GDP by 2027, the largest such increase since the Cold War ended. The system's effectiveness against swarms is particularly noteworthy. During tests, it simultaneously took down groups of eight drones, making it the largest counter-drone exercise conducted by the British Army to date. Traditional air defences typically target single threats at high cost. Rapid Destroyer changes this equation completely. The technology was developed by a UK consortium led by Thales, the British arm of the French defence contractor, working closely with the Ministry of Defence. Defence officials view Rapid Destroyer as a scalable, low-cost option for defending against emerging drone threats, especially given the growing use of drones in modern warfare. The system's ability to neutralise multiple threats nearly instantaneously could reshape battlefield dynamics if widely deployed. American military experts are closely watching these developments. The Pentagon has invested in similar directed energy weapons, but has yet to field a system with Rapid Destroyer's proven capabilities against drone swarms. The UK's success could accelerate US efforts to deploy comparable technology to protect troops and critical infrastructure from the growing drone threat. Secretary of Defense Pete Hegseth has repeatedly emphasized the need for cost-effective counter-drone solutions as vital to national security. For Ukraine, systems like Rapid Destroyer could provide immediate tactical advantages against Russian drone operations that have devastated infrastructure and military positions. The technology represents a significant leap forward in addressing one of modern warfare's most pressing challenges, neutralizing large numbers of low-cost drones that can overwhelm conventional defenses. Sergeant Mayer's assessment points to the system's user-friendly design quick to learn and easy to use, a crucial factor for rapid battlefield adoption. With each shot costing less than 20 cents compared to missiles priced in the thousands or millions, the economics of drone defense have fundamentally changed. The question now, will this British innovation force America and other NATO allies to accelerate their own directed energy weapon programs to keep pace?